Wines presents Suspense. Roma Wines, made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. Salud! Hey, your health, senor. Roma Wines toast the world. The wine for your table is Roma Wine, made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. This is the man in black, here for the Roma Wine Company of Fresno, California, to introduce this weekly half hour of Suspense. Tonight in Hollywood, Roma Wines bring you the MGM star, Miss Lucille Ball. The suspense play which stars Miss Ball, which is produced and directed by William Spear, is called Dime a Dance. It deals, as you will presently know, with Broadway life and sudden death, both set to music. And so with Dime a Dance and with the performance of Lucille Ball as a red-haired young lady named Ginger Allen, Roma Wines again hope to keep you in suspense. Have you ever danced with a murder? Doesn't cost any more for the extra thrill. It's only a dime. How could I do it, you say? I had to, to save my own life. I'm a dancer in Joyland Palace. One of the places just off Broadway in the 40s, you know the kind of place. Second-rate dance bands like Frankie Froman's 15 Frolickers. I was late to work that night. I ran down Broadway, scrambling through the crowd to the entrance of the Joyland. Hello, Max. Hey, uh, Ginger. You better step on him. Marina's looking for you. Your lady's burning. I know. Did Julie come in yet? Not yet. Good evening. So you finally decided to come, did you? Hi, Emily. Don't follow me. Uh, you ought to be. So did Julie. All the cash customers are waiting. I sent out the girls before all the years are here, and you say I'm playing favorites. Well, blame it on Julie. She gave me a stand-up tonight. All right, so I'll blame it on Julie. Where is she? Isn't she here? No, and she ain't home neither, because I phoned her there 15 minutes ago. I thought she was with you. And I thought she was here. Hey, if this is no gag, what happened to her? Well, that's what I'm beginning to wonder. Then go on in and get your stuff on. Julie be all right. Yeah, maybe she slipped in while you were busy counting tickets or something. See you right away, Marina. We've been entertained by Mom here while waiting for... All right, lay off. Mom, throw me that foot powder. Looks like a heavy night out there. My feet still hurt from last night. Here you are, Jerry. Uh, That's the way I am, Gertie. What I like every once in a while is a good, juicy night. Nice right, kid. No luck to be murdered herself. Throw me that dress, would you, Madame Defarge? The green one. Oh. Is Julie here? Not unless she's hiding in the closet, honey. Do any of you know where she is? Who's asking us? Ain't she your buddy? Maybe they had a fight. Well, did any of you hear from her? Why not ask Marino? He's been hanging around. Now, seven girls, Sally, she used to work in a joint like this one for a little town. There was a murder for you. Come on, hurry it up, baby. He just never showed up to work one night. Who didn't? The seven girls, Sally. Then they found her. That was about three years ago. Oh, what a sight she was when the police discovered the body. Oh, cut it out, Mom. Then there was the Robinson gal out in the road, stabbed to death. They found a phonograph and record by a body didn't even belong to her. The murderer brought his own music. Oh, she was a dance off only, too. Maybe some guy has it in for you girls. Pleasant character. Well, maybe one fella killed the both of them. Maybe there's a Dan Paul killer still at large getting ready for his next victim. So what do you think I'd pay you girls for anyway? I often wonder. <laughs> oh, Marino, think we're giving a free show in here? Uh, you couldn't interest anybody in that chassis of yours even with a set of dishes thrown in. Oh, yeah. All right, all of you, file out. I got something to tell you. Uh, come on, get out. Uh, Ginger, what I wanted to see you. I about. know, I know, Marino. I put you in the spot. I'll be dressed in a minute, and if you'll ward off those garlic eaters tonight, I'll work twice as hard and make it up to you. No, I'm in no spot, Ginger, but you are. Marino, what's the matter? What's happened? The police want to see you, Ginger. Police? What for? I didn't do anything. I'm sorry, Ginger, but... You... Something's happened to Julie. That's what the police want to see you by. Julie's dead. Dead? Murdered. <laughs> way 
over in that police car with those two flat feet from homicide, I could see Marino's face when he said, murdered. Poor Marino. We got out and walked up to the third floor of the building, to Julie's room. Marino never said a word. All right, sister, in here. Is, is, she, is she still in there? No, you won't have to look at her. Oh. How did it happen? Strangled. Well, why didn't she yell out? There were plenty of people around. Now look, Ginger, we're asking the question. Oh. Yeah, but since you raise it, we figured the person who could get close enough to kill her was someone she felt safe with. Yeah, she was murdered by someone she trusted, by a friend. Well, I was the only friend she had. Yeah, so they'd tell us. Unless she had a boyfriend. Uh, who was her boyfriend? Yeah. If she was strangled, where did all the blood come from? Flatfoot didn't answer Marino. He shut up all at once, as if he didn't have the heart to tell us the rest of it. His eyes gave him away, though. I got the whole score just following his gaze around the room. First, he looked at the little phonograph. By using bamboo needles, she could play it late at night. Soft, you know, so no one could hear it. The needle was worn down halfway, all, all shredded as though it had been played over and over. Then his eyes wandered to a flat piece of paper that, that had eight or ten shiny new dimes on it. Some had little brown flecks on them. Then his eyes went down to the rug. It was all pleated up in places, especially along the edges, as though something heavy, something, something lifeless had been dragged back and forth over it. You mean he danced with her after he killed her? Gave her a dime a dance even then? Now will you tell us? Who was her boyfriend? Play that record. Maybe she'll remember some guy they both knew who was kept on the piece. It was the only one he played. She hated it. She couldn't stand it. Someone broke that record here with him. Sure, someone did. Maybe her boyfriend sort of... There was no boyfriend. It was someone who waited for her in that room in the dark and killed her before she could scream. It was the same madman who killed those two other dance hall girls. He pays a dime a dance. A dime a dance, whether you're alive or dead. <laughs> the grind. The flat feet let me go. Nobody told me anything. Sometime when you have nothing better to do, you try dancing with a couple of hundred guys a night, asking yourself each time one of them wraps his arms around you. Is this the killer? Has he a knife in his hand behind my back? Hey, uh, can I see you a minute? Got a ticket? Yeah, but I don't want to dance, Ginger. I want to tour. Well, it's your dime. Say, how do you know my name? What just happened to Who are you, anyway? Recognize those two guys leaning against the wall? The two flat feet? And I'm the third. Nick's the name. Well, what about my, uh, about her boyfriend? Relax. We have proof it wasn't her boyfriend and it wasn't you. Oh, then you expect him to show up again after what he's done already, huh? We just got the report on those other two girls. They were killed by a maniac who played poor butterfly. Also, the fingerprints in all three cases match. He'll keep it up until we get him. How do you know what he looks like? We don't. We only know he isn't through yet. That's why I was assigned to protect you. Protect me? Yep. <laughs> keep my eye on you all night while you work and then take you home right to your drawer. Now, uh, Marino knows about the other two dicks, but no one knows about me. In fact, his headquarters told me not to tell even you. Then why did you? <laughs> I just saw how churchy you are. I don't want you to misunderstand my intentions. Well, what if someone asks me who you are? I say I'm your new boyfriend. Oh, I don't get smart. I never had a boyfriend. Good. Now you've got one. Well, 35 girls on this musical chain gang. Why do you pick on me? Because we found out one more thing about the killer's habits. The two girls that were murdered before Julie both had red hair. Julie had red hair? Yeah. And so have you, baby. <gasps> I was set up as victim number four. 
Nice thought. But every night, like the milkman, just when the girls filed out to beat the arms and eyes of the wolves, there was Nick. Now, that was some comfort. Nothing personal, you understand, but it was also a comfort to see those other two flat feet on the job night after night. How's Ginger? Fine. How's Nick? Hey, you're four minutes late. Miss me? Oh, I'm just a taxpayer that wants to see a public servant earn his money. <laughs> if the city got broke, I'd do this job for nothing. Uh-oh. Your straw boss, Marino, is giving you the high sign. Oh, I'll go see what he wants. You wait here. It's on your mind, Marino. Hey, who is that monkey hanging around you every night? Well, he pays for his tickets, doesn't he? Yeah, but he never used them. Who is he? My boyfriend. Oh. You know him long? Long enough. Take care of yourself, Ginger. Don't worry, Marino. I know my way around, but thanks. Besides, we're not running any matrimonial gear around here. you got to spread yourself around a little more. Share the wealth. There's other customers. All right, all now, right. Watch that, will you? All right. What did, what did he want? Oh, nothing. Nick, is there any news? You know, it's a month since June. No, 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 no. Calm down, Red Yeah, that's just it. That red hair. Look, why won't you let me dye it? Oh, I've got my reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You great, big, silent, strong cop. <laughs> That's right. Those cops. And then came that night. That horrible night. I was late as usual, got to the dressing room, planning to dress in no seconds flat so I could get out on the floor and be with Nick. Somehow I felt that I was going to need him that night. Some instinct told me it was a matter of life or death. In a whole month since the last one. What I like every once in a while is a good, juicy murder. Come on, pass it up. What do you think I'd pay you boys for anyway? Who are you looking out the door for, Ginger? Now, you take that film, dear. There was a real juicy kiss. Oh, shut up, Mom. Will you cut it off? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I keep forgetting you and she was so cruel. Well, that's all right. I'm jittery. Laverne, have you seen my boyfriend? Not tonight. Maybe he got bored. Billy, have you seen Nick? You know, the tall, handsome... Not tonight, Redhead. I guess he's giving you the air. Come uh, on, come on off. What am I paying you for? Come on. What's the matter, Cynthia? You look like you've seen a ghost. What are you looking for out there? What's so fascinating about the clock? Marino, they're not there. Where are those two flat feet? What do you know about that? Never mind that now. Where are they? Called off. Called off? That yeah, sounds screwy to me. The police headquarters figures they frightened off whoever they was looking for. But that's crazy. I'm going to fall... That won't do no good. I told them that anybody would wait till it cooled off before trying again. Now is when we should have protection. Well, come on. Get out on the floor. Come on, all of you. All right, I'll be out in a second. Really, I will, Marino. The burn. Yes, Tom. As soon as Nick comes in, tell him to come right here. Tell him to tap on the door, will you? Turn up, Sugar. Hey. What are you looking at me like that for, Ginger? Look, Mom, i got to talk to you. I can't go out there on the floor. I'm scared. What, what are you staring holes in me for? Mom, you and I were here in this room the last night Julie was alive. The night she must have been killed, remember? You poor kid. I always Look, like we got to remember. We just got to. There was someone dancing with Julie that night. Some rum dum. Julie said something about him. I can't remember what it was she said. Oh, you mean the one that hurt her hand? That's it. That's it. Hurt her hand. Then a wrist back when they were dancing. Yeah, that's the guy. She said it was almost like as if he got a kick out of hurting her. Yeah. And a squirm. Yeah, now what else? What else? Well, Julie called him a cement mixer. Oh, now we're getting somewhere, Mom. Yeah. Too hard. Oh, he had Julie crazy dancing yeah. like a slap happy pug. I remember her describing it. He'd take three little steps to the right as if he was getting ready for a stand and broad jump. That was it. Remember how Julie said she felt like screaming for Pete's sake if you're gonna jump, jump. Yeah, three steps to the right, and if you're gonna jump. Jump, jump. Hey, what are you doing, Ginger? Some detective work? Getting some clues? You know who we're talking about, Mom? The killer. Yeah. Oh! If he enjoyed hurting her like that, Ma, when she was still alive, he'd enjoy dancing with her after she was dead. Why, oh, he's worse than prune face. Why, that... There's someone i got to tell this to right away. Oh, where the... Nick! See you later, Mom. Hey. Oh, Nick. How's Nick? Hey, you're trembling. Sure, it's me. Why not? I thought you were called off the case. We were. Then what are you doing here? Have it. Do you mind? No, you dumb ape. I don't mind. Boy, how I don't mind. And, uh, as long as it isn't duty anymore, do you mind if I do something to you that I've wanted to do for days? Well, it depends. I want to take you in my arms. All right, take me in your arms and dance. Anyway, for the time being. I'm a rotten dancer. You're telling me. Nick. Nick, we got to talk. 